Good afternoon. I've got two huge elephants in the room with me today and I'm going to talk to you about exactly what these two are in a second. But if I could just give you a quick 30 second history lesson. Way back in the 13th century lived a Franciscan monk um, called Ockham and he had this philosophical theory which has become quite well known in the philosophical world called Occam's Razor. And without boring you about it, you can read on Wikipedia, even that blew my mind. But essentially all it means is the simplest explanation is probably the answer. And it's a very overused thing. Um, it's used, um, the metaphor, you might have heard the metaphor of if you hear the sound of clip-clopping hooves, it's much more likely to be horses than a zebra. And that metaphor explains very well what we mean. In other words, if you're looking to the solution for anything, it's very likely to be the one or two things. And that's where my two elephants come in, because this week I'm talking about food. Food tends to be a far greater influence on weight loss, on weight maintenance and weight gain than anything else, much more so than exercise. And as you know, it has a massive impact on health outcomes. And if you really want to change the needle on your dial to any considerable extent, you will probably have to face one of these giant elephants that are sitting opposite you in your room. The first elephant, it probably won't surprise you, is the calorie deficit. Or the calorie balance, sorry, because it does depend whether you want to lose, gain or maintain weight. So whatever you do, the first thing to change the needle on your dial is to measure your calorie intake, take away the calorie expenditure and start to look at where you are at. And the other elephant, his brother or sister, is macronutrient balance. So I'm just gonna put macros, those are the three huge components of all foods, whether they're proteins, fats, or carbohydrates, and they will tend to dictate your body composition. And why I wanted to talk about them is because not so much the two elephants that are facing at you, but it's all the little mice and all the other little animals in the room that are scurrying around that you're being distracted by, whether that's having some weird milk in your coffee at Starbucks, or having coconut fat to fry with, or whether you're measuring your chia seeds on your cereal. Whatever it is, the chances are they are just one of the little grains of sand that are skirting around the simplest explanation that is gonna change the needle on your dial. Now, I don't want to minimise um, any health issues you have around food and what you can and can't eat. But if you do want to change the health outcomes in your life, then it's highly likely that staring at one of these two elephants will have a much larger impact than all the other little animals that are scurrying around in your head or all those other little grains of sand. So I hope that helps. Next time you're thinking about what to do, if you wanna make changes, think of these two massive elephants and Mr. Ockham and his razor. Hope that's a help. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.